Number Combinations What is Number Combinations? It is combinations or we put together numbers to form a given number. It can be any number from naught to never ending. What is the purpose of teaching number combinations? Actually, it's the beginning of quick and effective addition. The symbol for addition is a cross, the plus. There are four different math operations. The operations are represented by symbols. The symbols have different names. We're going to look at a couple of them, not all of them. When you start with word sums, these names will come in very handy. You will know which operation to do when doing your word sums or your story sums. The plus. This one is the one that we use when we learn about number combinations. Addition plus add minus subtract difference multiplication product times Division Quotient goes into When we are doing addition sums and multiplication, my answer always gets bigger. And when we do minus sums, or division sums. The answer will always be smaller. Plus and minus is the opposite of one another. So is multiplication and division the opposite from one another. Let's focus on the plus for the number combinations. How can you teach number combinations? Always start with the body. Use your body to make big movements. And then you can do sensory learning. That is when you learn new concepts like number combinations with your five senses. The last step is to do small movements, in other words, writing your answers in your workbook. The most important thing to remember is to play, and through play you will learn, you won't even know it. Make a set of number cards. For a teacher, it's a good idea to have a couple of sets. The number values will depend on the age of the child. Make the cards from something that you have in your house. No need to buy expensive stuff. 
you can also laminate the cards. The outside cards must be from a sturdy material so that it can become dirty and you can play with it for a long time. One set has to contain five copies of each number. You need two sets. The first set is the smaller cards for inside the glass. And the second set is the bigger, stronger cards for your outside play time. There are a variety of number combinations per number. The difficulty and numerical value will depend on the age of the child as well as the ability of the child. Let's have a look at a couple of simple examples. Let's use the number 5 as an example. Number combinations is the way in which we put together numbers to make a given number. In this instance, the number 5. There are different number combinations to make up the number 5. 4 and 1 2 and 3 Sometimes you can combine 3 or more numbers to make up an answer. 1 plus 1 Then we need 3. Number combination exercises can be given in different ways. Sometimes the numbers are written in a little house. We're going to exercise a couple of ways to do number combination sums. After this, you will know what is number combinations. Make the teaching of number combinations interesting and useful. Motivate and inspire the kids. Use a variety of ways. Keep in mind the child's background and life experiences. Challenge them with new ideas and ways of thinking. At the end of the day, the kids must be able to make these operations their own. They must be able to do the sums on their own, in their own time. And that is the most important thing. Ideas how to teach number combinations using the body. A good fun idea is to go outside and play. Use your number cards. You can play in a group or individually with your teacher. Use the big strong number cards for outside. Be creative. Here are only a couple of ideas. There are loads more ideas to use. You can do the exercises outside or if you have space in the classroom, you can do it there as well. Flash the number card to your friend. For example, the number six. 
Pack your number cards outside on the grass so that you can see them easily. Go and find the combinations of the given number. Build towers with blocks or rocks containing the correct amount that fits the number combinations. Or find and jump on the combinations. Jump, count and say the first combination. And do the same for the second combination. One, two. And one, two, three, four. Write the number in the sand or even in the mud. For example, the number eight. Write the combinations in the sand or the mud. Arrange pebbles in two circles with the correct amount that fits the number combinations. You can even draw two circles in the sand and then arrange the pebbles inside the circles. Five combined with three will be eight. We can also flash the number combinations to the kids. For example, two and eight. The answer would be ten. Shout, sing or say the number like a robot. Jump and count the number. Write the number in the sand or the mud. Have a little fun. Run around the tree and count the number. Find and show the correct number card. This was loads of fun and I'm sure that you will remember your number combinations even better if you learn it in such a fun way. Learning number combinations through sensory play. To learn something sensory is to learn it through your senses. You have to see the numbers and you hear the number when you say it. You also smell it when you use all these materials to play with the numbers. You can even taste it with your mouth if you exercise the numbers with your jelly. You will be able to feel the numbers when you write it with your fingers in the sand or in the shaving cream. Here's a couple of ideas that you can use to exercise your number combinations in or material that you can use. There are loads more. Be creative. A container full of sand, jelly, shaving cream, number magnets, number cards, and why not use dices? We can do this in two ways. Show or flash the answer. For example, the number 10. Now you can write or show the number combination in the materials given. One and nine. You can also show the number combination. One combined with nine and now you write or show the number or the answer. 
the number or the answer when you combine 1 and 9 would be 10. To learn new things using your senses is always a good idea because you can experience everything and you will remember it for a long time. Play and learn. Use your hands and your number cards. Guess the number combination that I hold in my hands. 7 and 6. Together it would be 13. You can even shout it out. Or you can give the answer. For example, 4. And your friend can put the correct number combination in his hands. 4 and naught. What about 10? Combined with 10. Shout out the answer. 20. This was a fun game to learn number combinations. Find yourself a couple of fun pretty pictures and use your number cards to play with them. You can even laminate the pictures, then it will last you a very long time. Use pictures from nature scenes. Put the answer in the correct place, 19. Now you can put the combinations each in its own space. 7, 2 and 10. Remember, there can be a lot of different combinations to make up one number. So you can play this game over and over again. Fun! Use pictures where the kids can use combinations of two and combinations of three or more to make up a number. You can even make up a story to go with the picture. This house is number eight and on each floor of this house there must only live eight people. Can you help me? One and seven in a big room. Six, one, and another person, only one. The kids will get a feeling of all the sums that they have to complete in their workbooks. Remember the sum that I showed you? That they have to fill in the number combinations in the spaces that looks like a house. That will help them a lot. Here is the number 16. Can you help this person to put the puzzle pieces together so that it match the number 16? You can use your number cards. 8 and another 8. You also learned to double numbers. 8 plus exactly the same number. 8 makes 16. 
by combining numbers you are putting them together just like pieces of a puzzle. Here is another number in a house sum. Let's have a look at it. In the roof is number 10. Have a look at the number of windows in a row. Fill in number combinations to make up the number in the roof of the house, number 10. 7, 2, and one. How on earth will you combine five numbers to make up the number in the roof? Luckily with 10 it is easy. It is just five twos. The number in the house sums won't be any problems for you when you start doing them in your workbook. You are in space. This space station's number is number 14. Can you use two numbers to make up number 14? 4 and 10. Can you try to half number 14? You have to use two numbers of exactly the same value. It will be 7 plus another 7. Combined, it will be 14. You are getting very creative with your number combinations. have a look at a bit more formal work, something that you would do in your workbook. Numbers in a house. Remember not to put too much pressure on the kids concerning the correct way of writing numbers when teaching a new concept. Focus on the concept. The writing skills can be taught in another lesson. Write the number in the roof of the house. And then you have to write the combination of the number in the blocks below, row by row. Usually, one of the numbers of the combination is given to you. You must just fill in the other one. So you have to find the missing number. Let's have a look if you can read the combinations. It is very easy.
Let's try the numbers in the house one last time. Can you help me? Now you know what is number combinations and you will be able to do any addition sum. Let's draw some. Let's draw some plus sums. You will find it very easy now that you know your number combinations. If you are able to do any combination of any number, then you will be able to do your addition sums in any way given. Complete the mass operations. Luckily, by now you know what the word operations means. No problem for you. In order to understand maths problems properly, you have to repeat it and exercise it. Then it becomes easier. Will you help me with these sums? How much plus 3 equals 5? Two. One plus nine equals ten. Naught plus how much equals eight. Eight. How much plus four? gives us 15. Eleven. Perfect. Two plus how much gives us 20. It is 18. 20 plus how much gives us 50. The answer would be 30. Well done! 10 plus 3 equals 13. How much? Plus naught gives us nine. Nine, of course. Let's try this one. Four plus how much? Plus four equals twelve. Four. You are getting so clever. You have experienced number combinations firsthand, and you know that it is only addition sums. I hope you enjoy your maths. Have fun.